So welcome to another episode of On the Couch with McNeil Real Estate. My name is Janet McNeil and today I am meeting with Mike Klukas from Full Gas who provides um, training and entertainment for cyclists on the Mornington Peninsula and I believe around the world. That's right. So welcome Mike. Thank you. It's great to have you here. Excited so, to be here. It's great. Terrific. So just tell us a little bit about yourself and your background. Sure. Um, I was born or well, grew up near London. Mm -hmm and travelled around the world riding and racing my bike. Okay, and yep. One day I was riding back from Sorrento around the um, Mount Marfa Boulevard and yes. I was just like, no, nah, I'm staying. Yeah, beautiful. And that's how I'm here. Yep, okay. And and so how long have you actually been on uh, this area? It's almost 30 years now. 30 years, yeah. wow. Okay, yeah. that's why your accent's not all that strong. No, no, it varies. <laughs> if, if I go home again, I yeah, start saying garage and yes. pint of lager. And yep. crisp, but, yeah. <laughs> it all comes back. Yeah. Um, so now, I believe you run a very successful international business, and it's called Full Gas. Yes. Is that correct? Yep. yep. Um, so just tell us a little bit about um, how Full Gas was born and sort of the reasons behind why it started. Sure. Yeah. Um, so I'd been riding and racing my bike all around the world and, yep. and settled here and got mm -hmm. into coaching and sports science. Oh, okay. And yep. ultimately, after the Sydney Olympics, that sort of moved into IT. Right. And then in 2014, I had quite a bad crash on did the beach road on my, on oh, my bike. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. How, you okay? Well, <laughs> I was okay, but my bike wasn't. My bike was broken in half, and yeah. I figured if that happens again, I yeah. could be broken in half. So exactly, yeah. So let's Pretty find a fun way to mm -hmm. ride inside. Oh, okay. Um, yep. And so basically ended up developing an app whereby mm. if someone films a ride outdoors, yes. you can then ride that in exactly the same way at home. Yep. Okay. So right. to be a good example, local would be yep. off the seat. Off the seat, yes. So you can ride. Um, <laughs> That's a pretty tough it's one. Pretty tough the one. Seat. So and it, and the funny story is that people around the world often yep. complain about that ride, and they, they? say because we yep. recreate the gradient very accurately. So right. we had someone, you know, go, "This ride is too hard." And I'm saying, <laughs> "Really? No, I'm sorry, Klaus. It's it, it's it, correct. It, it really like, is. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it can be it can be brutally upsetting to find yes. out how hard real rides are rides sometimes. Are, yeah. so, so, so yeah, with full gas you could be riding, you know, in Mornington or mm -hmm. Mount Martha or mm -hmm. somewhere like that, or it could be Alpe d'Huez, it could be yep. Los Angeles, it could be anywhere. Really? Mm. Wow. And so the the film you actually see, you're physically riding through this yeah. place. Yeah. Yep. So we'll use um, 4K video, mm -hmm. and we get the the data as well from that ride, and we do a lot of. Okay. magic if you like to yes. combine the two yes. and then with modern you know, equipment you can ride your bike on yep um that then feels just like the real ride okay because that leads me into uh one of my questions is do you need any special equipment to be able to use your app um ideally you do you don't mm -hmm. have to like anything you can ride indoors you can just yep. ride along in front of the video yep. um but it's becoming more and more common to get what's called a smart trainer so your, okay. your local bike shop Yes. Um, can send you that quite easily. Yes. <laughs> and then that then that then connects via Bluetooth to mm -hmm. Fullgas. So it's really easy to set up. You right. just plug it in. We well, don't even plug it in. You just connect them wirelessly. Just, yes. Yep. And off, excuse okay. me. And off you go. So as long as the the bike whatever has a a, yep. a monitor, a screen of some yep. sort, they can actually see where yeah. they're going. Yep. So you could use. Will it work without yep. a monitor? Like uh, can you feel? Yeah, well, you want to see where you're going, so yes. you could do it with an, an iPad or Apple oh, TV right, or okay. on your laptop yep. or something like that, yep. And, yep. and away you go. Okay, brilliant. That's great. Um, so, yeah, so obviously it's it's clearly targeted at cyclists. Yep. Um, how do sort of cyclists get to learn about this app? Um, hopefully through finding it, well, after, actually, to be honest with you, yep. most of it's through word of mouth. Okay. So yes. we have a limited marketing budget. Yes. by global standards, so we just yes. kind of, you know, yep. try and, try and see the message. key markets. Okay, yeah. great. Most of our customers would be in America. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So do you have, like, there, I'm guessing there's a lot of cyclist groups. I mean, we see cyclists down on the Mornington Peninsula yep. every day, <laughs> it feels like, and then, of course, yep. in summer, we're yeah, just yeah. inundated. Sure, yeah. So it's, well, it's a great place to ride, exactly. isn't it? Exactly, so, yeah. yeah. It's brilliant. So, um, so are there, like, cyclist groups that you... So yep, there's those. Um, we do a lot of um, like events, like Tour de France events and oh, okay. um, yep. uh, things like that. A lot of bike shops use it for demos in their stores. Brilliant. Um, okay. It's used at expos and things like that. Yep. Um, yep. Everywhere from London to um, Istanbul to wow. Munich or whatever. Yeah. That's incredible. So, um, do you have 
many rides of the Mornington Peninsula on the app? Uh, quite a few. Mm -hmm. um, there's I, we, 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 what we have. There's stuff down around Frankston. There's yes. off, off a seat. Mm -hmm. There's um, around the coast, most of the way to, to Sorrento. Yes. Flinders. Yeah, oh, um, There's one, yep. it's called the General's Loop. It's named oh, after yes. a friend of mine. His name's Lee and he's called General Lee. We call okay. him. So yes. he has a particular favourite training loop, so that's in there. Right. Um, so Fantastic. he can do that. Yep. He now lives in Brighton, but he can do that. Yep. Rather than having to drive down All to the, the peninsula down or down. ride down, yeah. he's only got an hour, so he can yes. jump on at home and yeah, do his favourite the... training loop at okay. home. Okay, that's fantastic. So I think you mentioned to me um, another reason for doing it, like, as you say, you had an accident. Yeah. So it's sort of a way of people that, I guess, like myself, for example, mm -hmm. I really don't want to ride on the road because yeah. it's just too scary. I'm, I'm feel like I'm going to get run over yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. So it's not just targeted, I guess, to... Um, professional uh, cyclists, it's to people that perhaps recovering from an injury that can't yep. get out on the physical yep. bike. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's funny because we've had a few people lately with injuries getting in touch with people like hip replacements and, yes. and yep. things like that. And mm -hmm. there's a way you can, when you start riding, you can scale yep. all the hills down. So okay. our Arthur Fantastic. C example goes yes. from being that steep to yes. that steep. Okay. And then if you get fitter, you can gradually make you it increase. steeper again. Okay. Fantastic. So, so the idea is that it's whilst professionals use it, mm. um, the idea is that, yeah, you could use Anyone it and can. really enjoy yes. it and just say, oh, yeah. I like riding there, that's yeah. fun. Because that's the thing, I mean, like, if you're in a gym or something or at home and you're riding the bike and you're not going anywhere, it's like running on a treadmill. So no. No. <laughs> this is just not fun. No, um, that's right. Riding in the real world would be more fun, but if mm. you can't do that or you don't have the confidence or whatever or all the yeah. time, mm. um, this is the, the best alternative. Yeah, yeah. yeah sounds exactly. brilliant. Yeah. yeah, that's great. So, um... Now, I understand that you actually offer a 14-day free trial. Yes, we do, Tell yep. me how that works. Um, you download the app, mm -hmm. and when you do that, you register. Yes. And from there, we automatically give you a 14-day free trial to give it a real... Okay. And that's access to everything. There's about right. 500 rides now. Oh, fantastic. So okay. and that's, that's thousands and thousands yes. of kilometres. So you, yep. just, you can try the whole lot for free, and if you yes. like it, then you subscribe monthly. Okay, and so what is the cost monthly? Uh, it's twelve ninety nine a month. Oh, that's next to nothing. There you go. It? <laughs> that's very cheap. Yeah. <laughs> twelve ninety nine. That's yeah. brilliant. Um, so, and I think you were saying, obviously, you are international, so you've got yeah. a lot of people around the world using it. So, do you know how many times your app's been downloaded? Oh, about 65,000 times, I think. Wow, that's brilliant. I mean, I wish I had 65,000 customers. We yes. don't. I mean, everyone tries it. But, um, yep. yeah, and the most popular countries would be the US, the UK, um, Canada, and then Australia. Okay. No, oh, that's fan absolutely fantastic. So how do they find, like, obviously we've got iOS and uh, Android, so yep. how do they actually locate the app? So you just look in the very in the relevant store, mm -hmm. so it just search for full gas. So yep. that's spelled um, yep. F-U-L-G-A-Z. Mm -hmm. And it's actually the European slang for flat out. Oh, so is it? Today we go full gas, like as much right. gas as you can possibly. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's awesome. Where, that's, it, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> there is a reason. <laughs> There's got a reason because yeah. I'm yeah. thinking it doesn't make sense to me, but it yeah, does. That, well, now. it does, yeah. yeah so. <laughs> that's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Um, so, Mike, what do you do when you're not working? I try to get out and actually go for a ride. <laughs> um, Hang out with Linda, my wife, and yep. enjoy some great time with her and hang out yep. with the kids. Great. Um, our youngest daughter's in Queensland, so we... She? Now. You don't ride your bike up there. I don't ride to, to Queensland, <laughs> but I do like to ride like, in Queensland in there, if yep. I can. So yep. we'll try and get up there sometimes and yep. spend some time with her. Okay. No, that's fantastic. Well, thank you for coming in. It's been um, very informative and brilliant, and I think this app is uh, something that's absolutely amazing to help people, um, you know, to save their bored at home and they don't want to go out, especially on a day like yesterday, it was absolutely <laughs> pouring down, you wouldn't want to be no, out on your bike, yeah. <laughs> it's not safe. Um, so thank you for coming and uh, spending some time with us uh, today, Mark, and uh, we look forward to seeing your progress in the future. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And that concludes another episode of On the Couch with McNeil Real Estate. Thank you.